From the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi, I'm Lexi Cartwright, and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Monday, the 22nd of March. Military support has been called in as parts of Western Sydney and the Mid North Coast continue to battle dangerous floods and wild weather. 3,000 people have been forced to flee their homes, with more than 150 schools currently closed across the state. New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian warned of further evacuations, saying 38 areas were currently declared as disaster zones. You might be asked to evacuate if you're on alert already so we ask everybody to please follow those instructions uh, and uh, weather permitting I'm uh, I don't, never want to get in the way in these situations but I'm intending to go up and have a look through from the air today on the P and Hawkesbury to see what the situation is and what's likely to evolve. You can follow live weather updates at news.com.au. To other news the parliamentary inquiry into Brittany Higgins alleged rape has been suspended over fears findings may impact a criminal investigation. Just weeks after Scott Morrison ordered an inquiry into who knew what in his office about the claims. The Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet Secretary Phil Gatchins has told Senate Estimates he paused the probe on March 9 for the benefit of Miss Higgins. Labor senators accused the government of a cover-up with Penny Wong saying, do not use Britney's interests as a shield. Higgins alleges she was raped by a fellow Liberal staffer in a parliamentary office in March 2019. To some lighter news now, and last week we informed you a mystery Sydney cider had won the entire $50 million Powerball jackpot. Well, after an extensive search to track down the Division 1 winner, a Sydney mother has emerged as the lucky winner. While her identity is being withheld, the woman has revealed she almost didn't buy a ticket due to the wet weather currently lashing the city. She said she plans to buy a house with her newfound fortune, followed by shopping sprees for her family. Lucky kids. Alrighty, to some entertainment news now, and Prince Harry has opened up about the death of his mother, Princess Diana, in a heart-wrenching statement. Writing a foreword for a new book aimed at supporting children who have lost parents during the COVID-19 pandemic, Harry said his own mother's death left a huge hole inside of him. He wrote, When a parent goes to heaven, I was told their spirit, their love and the memories of them do not. They are always with you and you can hold on to them forever. Finishing with sport news now, and a 22-year-old surfer who was training for the Tokyo Olympics has died in a tragic accident in El Salvador. Catherine Diaz-Hernandez was entering the water at a beach on the Pacific coast when she was struck by lightning. Members of the public rushed to her aid before an ambulance arrived. However, she could not be revived. That's it for this episode of From the Newsroom. We'll be back with another update in the morning. Your headlines from news.com.au. 